How you doing? So we just arrived at the gym, so it was about a 20 minute walk. First time here, so I'm excited to check out the gym, the equipment, the vibes, who's training here, and obviously celebrate the 40 year anniversary of Betty Bodies. Yeah, so here we are, Destination Dallas. You climb the mountain high. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at a sunny destination Dallas in Texas. It's a beautiful day and me and Dan, we're gonna have a walk around the gym, do a little tour for you guys. So come and follow me. So Destination Dallas is the, the home of Gasp and Better Bodies. So it's been here, I believe, about four or five years, but our first time here, so follow through. So this is the reception area. We'll start on this side. Um, you can see it's all one big unit. It must be probably, I'm guessing around 20,000 square foot. Yeah. And it looks packed full of equipment. Everything's on one floor, which is I like. You've got a nice big 20, 25 meter track with all your sled folds and stuff. Nice space. Yeah, really nice. Even though it's probably about 35 degrees outside, it's nice and cool here. It's got these big fans. So I'm not the biggest fan in here, this is. What I love about gyms like this, you've got a selection of brand new prime equipment and some of the old school life fitness. You've got the best of both, old and new. We've only just got it and already you can tell there's an atmosphere. Like right? half the people are still to arrive from the gas. Yeah, and it's still quite busy. It's, yeah. it's, it's uh, midday and it's very busy. And also there's a nice variety of people. You've got some top athletes and you've got some obviously uh, middle-aged women training here. So has got a nice variety of different kinds of clientele. Yeah, nice inclusive feel. So what I love about coming to new gyms, I feel like a kid in the sweet shop, and there's lots of equipment here I've never used before, so I'm gonna have a good play today. I'll probably train everything today. <laughs> love this. So this is a brand called Gym Leco. It's quite new, from Sweden, and the beauty about Gym Leco is it's a very small footprint. I'm not sure what this machine is. I'm guessing it's about a... Uh, Oh, rear dump. Rear dump machine. How's that feel? Tough? That's all right, actually. So it has got like an American feel to this gym. It's obviously a big space, yeah. high ceilings. I love all the flags and all the graffiti on the wall. Nice vibe. And um, I know it's quite a new gym, but it feels old at the same time, maybe because of equipment. Yeah, very, got that authentic feel, it's nice. And here you got some branded equipment. That's, uh, this is um, reverse hyperextension. You only see many of these, so you'll find a lot of the powerlifting strongmen have this equipment to build a posterior chain. Squat machine, pendulum, we'll give that a go. Look at the size of this leg press, it's absolutely huge. We could join do this together, couldn't we? Yeah, so this is um, a unilateral leg press. So you can do one leg at a time, or you can slot together and use both at the same time. So this company here, Paramount, these were the inventors of the pendulum squat. So this is an original pendulum squat from probably about 19, mid-1990. So this is the original pendulum squat made by Paramount. They don't make this anymore, so it's a rare piece of equipment. Piece about America, equipment's so cheap, it's easily accessible, but yeah. if you were to be in UK, the shipping of this equipment will cost more than the actual machine itself. So the machines are actually quite cheap, but the shipping is expensive. And you could probably kit a gym like this out for, I'd say about 200,000 pounds, which is not a lot really, but if you were to be in UK, you'd double that. So yeah. this looks like the leg area. You've got a few hack squats, leg presses, leg press, hip belt squat, so this is the leg area. As most hardcore bodybuilding gyms, they don't have much cardio, which is a bonus in my eyes. So these, this is a bit of a memorabilia war. Got Mohammed Makawi, 
Um, so Brian, this is Brian Moss. He is actually the founder of Better Bodies and he is actually at this event today. Love Everyone knows guy. Mr. T from Rocky Free. Gary Schreidum, one of the top IPB pros back in the 80s. That's Gladys Portuguese, that's John Claude Van Damme's wife, or well, ex-wife. Um, Bertel Fox, Gary Schroedem, Rick Malinti. My good friend Samir. My Christian. Mr. T again. Yeah, seeing this wall brings back a lot of happy memories from the early 80s when I first got to bodybuilding. Yes, a long time ago. I think that's the warehouse where they keep all the stock. Yeah, so what do you think guys? Do you like this gym? Yeah. Everyone loves chest day. You've got an inclined chest with press, shoulder press. Yeah, it's the extreme row. You'll see this one in Ultimate as well. It's a good piece of kit. Really good piece of kit, that. Yeah, so as you, as you can see, this gym's got everything you need. Shoulders, back, arms, legs. They've left nothing. No expense spared here. Yeah, so we're going to grab a bit of a workout later. So if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. You climb a mountain Thanks for watching this video and that is a wrap. That's Destination Dallas done and dusted. Wow, what can I say? What an amazing gym. Music's blaring. I had a great workout. Everyone's training hard. Everyone's wearing their Gaps Better Body t-shirts. I have to say, this is probably one of the busiest and most hardcore gyms I've ever been to. Even this is a new gym, it's got that hardcore vibe. It's got the weights banging around. Loads of new equipment, loads of old equipment. Uh, chalk everywhere, bars everywhere. Great vibe, so um, this is the 40th anniversary of Better Body. So if you're in Dallas, Texas this weekend, make sure you get yourselves down to Destination Dallas. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.